Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to migrate an on-premise email box into the cloud or card mailbox. So take a look on what I have prepared here. So as you can see, I have an on-premise mailbox. I'm running on Outlook 2013 using Exchange 2013. And I'm going to migrate these emails from this mailbox into the cloud archive mailbox. So take a look on the cloud mailbox. A cloud mailbox is an Office 365 mailbox. And as you can see, it's pretty much empty. So we are going to use the in-place archive as a target in this case. The product, what we are going to use today, is called Content Gate. And it provides a migration framework to move data from on-prem to the cloud or the other direction as well. So take a look how we can create a migration here and easily migrate the items. So I'm clicking on new migration, choosing Exchange Server as a local source. I can easily find my local Exchange Server within my domain, as you can see, it's called Brody. And then I need to define my access method. I'm going to use Exchange Web Services here and click Configure. As you can see, the URL of Exchange Web Server is already filled in, so I just need to provide the version of Exchange Server and to provide a super user who has access to all the mailboxes I intend to migrate. So let's put in his credentials and click OK. So now the source is set. So let's continue with the target. So we choose Exchange Server as well as a target. Click Configure. Since we don't have an AD, a local AD here, we need to add the server manually. Let's call it Office 365 Homeland. And choose the uh, access method, which will be Exchange Web Services again. Click on Configure. Since we are using Office 365 access here, so we may need to provide the correct uh, URL for the Office 365 mailboxes and provide the version of the service as well. So I have prepared a user, an admin user here as well, who can access all the mailboxes. I'm going to provide his credentials and the password. And here comes the trick. So if you want to move the items into the archive mailbox, you just need to click this checkbox, which means that all the elements from the source will be put into the target's archive mailbox if that one is available. So click OK. And of course, before we can continue, we need to provide the users who will be read out using the PowerShell feature of Office 365. I just provide the same user I'm using to access the mailbox and fill in the correct URL dsrmails.com. Uh, the authentication method will be basic in this case. So click OK and click OK again. So we are establishing the connection to the Office 365 services. And in a couple of seconds, we have defined our migration configuration. Okay, so here we go. We have the source and the target configured. So let's call it Office 365 Archive Migration and click Create. So as you can see, we have created the migration, which consists of the source, which is a local uh, exchange server. And on the other side, we have the target, which is the Office 365 subscription, which I have specially created for this migration. Let's uh, load the users from Office 365. It might take some seconds to load. Okay, here we go. So we have the users listed and I'm going to migrate the user called Carrie Matheson and I have created her Office 365 mailbox as well, which will be the CMA. 
So let's go to user mapping when I can create the mapping with being a local and the target user. I click add, so I created the bridge actually between the two. So we have this migration mapping and for an easy management, let's create a group for migrating this mailbox. So if you would have multiple mailboxes, you would just simply assign those mailboxes to the group. So it would be much more easier to migrate those elements. And the last thing we need to do is basically uh, create or start the migration of items. So just click on the migrate items. And after the elements have been loaded from the local mailbox from the source, they will be immediately pushed into the Office 365 archive mailbox. As you can see, we have 10 threads here defined. So basically, we can manage a bigger load and a lot of volume and data in multiple threads against the Office 365 mailbox. So basically, the whole, whole throughput is depending only on the speed of Office 365 and the internet bandwidth you are using. So as you can see, the migration has already started. Uh, we have some elements here which could be created. Let's, let's wait a moment where we can address the others. All the failed items will be actually or could be pre-migrated after the reason has been removed. So now we start migrating data and as you can see it's running in multiple threads so it's pretty fast actually at this moment so just take a look on how our archive mailbox looks like so i just click refresh here on the output web app click on the archive mailbox and let's take a look on the inbox as you can see, I have some elements here. To open the new migration folder, let's go to the root, and I have some elements here as well. So basically, the migration is succeeding, and we just need to wait until the whole thing is done. So thank you for your time today, and see you in our next video. Bye bye.